The opinion of many analysts is that they are meh. Yes, they say they might have a role, they have some interesting features, but they do not change the overall reality. And at the end of the day, they are not really necessary. If this is true, why everyone, literally everyone who can, is working on them? In this series, I'm going through the main hypersonic programs in the world that are not either American, Russian or Chinese. And yes, I will cover India too, so stay tuned. Ah, you didn't know that there are other countries capable of hypersonic development? The Iranian program is the one we know the least. All we have is the declaration of a commander of the Islamic Revolution Guards who said at the beginning of 2023 that Iran has developed a hypersonic ballistic missile capable of exo-atmospheric maneuver. He stated that the range is about 1600 kilometers and the speed is around Mach 10 or 12. We know really nothing about it. I am not even sure that these pictures are a representation of the real thing. If it is like this, rather than a hypersonic glider or a hypersonic cruise missile, this is more like a maneuvering ballistic warhead. So this is not what we usually consider a hypersonic weapon. Uh, we use the term hypersonic weapons either for re-entry vehicles mounted on top of missiles that can glide to the target, but at hypersonic speed, uh, that is above Mach 5, uh, and usually a lot above Mach 5 or for hypersonic cruise missiles, that is, cruise missiles that can fly at hypersonic speed generally under the thrust of a scramjet engine. And the scramjet engine being a compressorless engine where fuel combustion happens in a supersonic airflow. In the Iranian case, while the speed is likely hypersonic, it seems to be a maneuvering re-entry vehicle, which is an older technology. It may still be effective, but it's not strictly hypersonic. So, uh, Germans are Germans. That is disrespectful, sir. Do you think it is, Otis? I don't know, sir. I am not human. I just asked ChatGPT about it. Ah, uh, so what should I say? You should avoid generalizations and stereotypes, sir. Uh, I suppose this is ChatGPT again, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, let's move on. So the Germans... ChatGPT suggests an apology. Otis, we are talking about a program that is using a vehicle that the size of a wedding cake for purely scientific purpose. They are testing an aerodynamic configuration with sharp edges and they are seeing if it can reliably re-enter the atmosphere from about 200 kilometers of altitude. They are also studying the thermal protection of a body with sharp edges. And all of this is to conduct microgravity and other scientific experiment. And Otis, this is boring. Surely scientific research is useful, very useful, but this is definitely boring. And obviously it is a mere coincidence that the exact same technology could be used to build a hypersonic glider for military use one day. Brazil has been working on hypersonics from the 90s with mostly theoretical studies. However, a systematic project was not started till 2008 when the Brazilian Air Force launched the Projeto de Propulsão Hypersonica. If I had eyebrows, I would raise them. This is an entirely Brazilian effort with no foreign collaboration, uh, which is always a wise choice. The project plan involves four demonstrator vehicles starting from validating the supersonic combustion of a scramjet and ending with an autonomous flight of a controllable and maneuverable vehicle with active supersonic combustion. In December 2021, the first demonstrator successfully took off from the Centro Espacial de Cantara on top of a Brazilian VSB-30 rocket. It reached 30 kilometers of altitude where the scramjet was activated, taking the vehicle to an apogee of 160 kilometers before plunging into the Atlantic at about 200 kilometers from the launch point. The Brazilians believe that this technology can be an alternative and a cheaper way of accessing low 
low heart orbit, but they do not hide the idea of placing the vehicle on top of an intercontinental missile. Otis, this is cool, we should really cover more Brazilian stuff. Noted sir, more Brazilian stuff. Now, that was disrespectful. So this video stops here, but it is just the first of a series of three that will be soon available. So click on them if you see them beside me. In the meanwhile, thank you to all those who are supporting the channel on Patreon or by being a member or by one of donations on PayPal. And see you next time.